Good evening and welcome to the second part of my review of Tetrix Prime. Here I have built one of the actual models. Um, it's, it's a really strong, easy to build um, system. I, I was really, really impressed at how quickly this went together, how strong it is. Um, you've got very easy books to follow. Um, one thing I also think is nice to point out is you still have plenty of parts left so that's really really nice so it was a very solid kit um, this is RC so so that's one of the things I would like to point out this is radio controlled instead of um, programmable at the moment you can uh, use other brains one of the things that Tetrix really are, are keen on they kind of sell is that you can use an EV3, a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, whatever kind of controller you want, you can use to program it. This one doesn't come with one you can program, you have to add that extra. Um, but it is a, it's a really, really solid, nice and easy to build on system. A uh, couple of things that I, I'm not so keen on, obviously you can't program it, understood. And at the price point it is, it's very you know similar price to EV3, I think it's a little bit more, and the um, Vex IQ system, which you can program, but it is metal, so you know, swings and roundabouts. The control, so this is the controller you get. Compare this to a Vex one, and you can kind of see where I might have, you know, I, I just don't think the controls as nice. This has only got um, uh, eight channels, or what, four channels, sorry, whereas this has got, you've got a lot more movement, you've got extra buttons, you've got extra buttons on here. So that's one thing I I, uh, I I didn't like so much. And the other thing is because this is RC and because you've only got forward, backwards, rotating, kind of like that, the controls don't really map to the model. So going forward, obviously you can change it whatever you like, but going forward, press two, press back. But if you want to move the arm up, um, you're kind of pushing different directions for the claw and the, there's no real button you could just go claw open, claw close, or you know move arm up and up down. They they have to be mapped to the ones that also move the robot about. So you know this is the the kind of starter kit. So take that a pinch of salt. It's um I think it's only on six volts if I remember. It might be more. Might be seven point. Oh yeah, no six volts. So slightly less powerful than the typical seven point two or. 8.4 systems but it but as a building uh system it is really nice i i really enjoy putting this together things just slot together really easily it didn't take very long at all to build it so my next move is to get this working with a lego ev3 thank you very much